In this video, we're going to get personal and answer some burning questions. I know we've talked about this a while ago, and the problem with having a channel is you assume everyone has saw every one of your videos, which is not true, especially when you have over 500 of them. And by the way, we just hit 400,000 views. Yes. And we, I believe we have 530 some videos. A lot of them are shorts. And it took me that long to get better at it. They, they say make a hundred lousy videos and you'll get better, but I think it took me 500. <laughs> yeah, ain't that the truth? Rick and I, how long have we been together now? It'll be four years next month. Wow, it's, it's only four years, so. I mean, it's only four years. Seems like a lifetime. I'm just kidding. Doghouse. <laughs> so we're both widows, okay? Uh, we both were married, well, we're not going to talk about your first marriage because that's a different story. But your second marriage, you were married for how long? 16 years. 16 years. And, uh, you know, he, he had a great wife, great relationship. And her name was Erica, and she passed away 56, right? When she was 56 years old, yeah. And I met my husband, well, I was 18. So we were married 33 years. That was Dave. And Dave passed away at 56. So... We were both very connected. We had great marriages. Uh, I really didn't think I was going to ever find anybody again. And look at this. This is bizarre. So we've only been together for four years. So I think that's another message too. Maybe think life is over being a widow and that loss is, is just incredibly tough. And you may think life is over, but it doesn't have to be. Certainly a lot more bearable when you have someone to share with. We just really try to respect each other's previous spouse and just honor them and respect them because we didn't we didn't get a big eraser and, and erase that part of our lives. So I know that part is still important to him and he has memories of that and stuff. He knows that I have that too. And we try to integrate it. Um, Rick is retired. Rick is 70. I'm 62. I'm semi-retired. But I'm not working a lot of hours. The West trip is coming up in August. Very much looking forward to that. We've been talking a lot about it this trip and planning it. Cool beans. I've never been out West either. Yeah. Stinky, where did you even come from? Oh, I stowed away in the camper over the winter when it was cold. I used to live under the shed, but Rick, this is a nice upgrade. Well, thank you, Stinky. I'm so glad you approve. That we're going to have to do a lot more in-depth preparation for going out west because number one is going we're going to encounter terrain and circumstances that i've never had the opportunity to encounter before so i might want to invest in a newer tent and at least have that available with us when we go out west so that perhaps it may be smart to pitch that where we're going to camp for several days versus this canopy if we're going to be apt to encounter really windy conditions because this isn't designed for it. And you wanted a floor too, because he mentioned scorpions. I'm like, what? Well, <laughs> and we don't have them on the East Coast. Fact, We're going to be mindful on this trip because this trip is huge. It's huge for me. I think it represents the freedom and me time. Uh, I've been raising kids since I was age 20, I'm 62. It's been a long time because uh, I've been raising my daughter's kids. My daughter went AWOL and I'm not gonna really get into it on here, but my husband and I picked up her kids when they were six and not even two and we raised them. And well, my husband passed away, it'll be 10 years already. We've been raising them. The oldest one is 23 and is graduating with his master's in social work. And the youngest one is graduating high school in June, and then she's going off to Monmouth University. She'll be living there. That's why we're going at that point. We, so to me, it's like a freedom. It's like, you know, uh, I don't have kids. It's my time. It's me time. So it's a big sense of freedom. You're 70. You're thinking this could be your last trip? This your could last... be my last, last year of really having the opportunity and, and the health to go out and tackle a trip like this yeah so we're definitely going okay um god willing and but i want to be mindful of a lot of stuff like 
I tend to rush a lot and take shortcuts and I don't want to do any of that with anything. So I know, I guess it was the last trip. I shouldn't throw you under the bus like this, but we're going to keep it real, right? Yeah. So our last trip, we were on the turnpike last fall and we were heading to Pennsylvania. And I don't know why, but for some reason I asked about the lights, if the trailer lights were hooked up. Mm. And I, so he pulled over and I guess they were hooked up, but they weren't working. I had the plugs reversed. There's two plugs that connect the trailer to the van and I had they're identical, almost identical looking. I had them in the wrong sockets. So an error in checking. It would have been a two second check to, you know, hit the brakes and, and walk back and check or have me walk back. But that could have been a very costly mistake. We've also had in the walk around when everything has to be locked down and, and secured, we've had the microwave slide off of the counter and break. So I don't want any mishaps like that. So I just really, really want to be mindful to walk around, check the tires, check the air pressure, do all that, especially because we're going all the way out there. I can help with that. Is he really coming with us? Well, that's just rude. I'm very, very nervous with your van. So let's talk about your van. So your van is a 2000, right? Right. So I know you're very connected to your van. You want to tell them why? It was a New York City police van that was in service with the New York City Police Department at the time the World Trade Centers were taken down. So it, based on that, it kind of has some meaning to me. So it was probably in service in 9-11. So we're going across the country in a van that's 23 years old. However, last year, you put $7,000 into that and got a new engine and I'm not sure what else was new put in there. But I'm sure something could still go wrong. And yeah, it is getting looking like, like it needs a paint job, but do you really want to put $3,500 into a paint job? No. So we're, we're a little nervous about that. I don't know if we're crazy. Do, do you think we're crazy for doing it? No. But you have confidence in the new engine. Yeah, and there are a lot of people driving very old vehicles uh, across country, and, yeah, old and buses. some are actually, you know, nomads that are out there full time. That's you know? true. And you're handy enough; you can fix some minor things. We are going to be shooting video when we're out there, but I'm not going to be doing spending all the time editing. So it'll be a lot of little shorts. And actually, I've been doing it on this trip to kind of get you guys used to these little like shorts. But we will be putting up like vlog style videos. You guys can help support us by just watching our videos all the way to the end, liking, giving us a thumbs up. Um, oh, that stinks. You're doing my job again. Please remember to like, share, subscribe if you like these videos. We may be looking for corporate sponsors for our trip. I have an idea. How about poopery? Or some kind of air freshener. One of you guys really lit the trailer up with that little bucket thing the other night. I'm just saying. I do all my business outside. So one of you guys really stunk the camper up. We might do individual like ones on Patreon too. I'm just not sure what we're going to offer with that. But that stuff is in the works. So that could be happening. Okay, that's enough of who we are. And if you want to see more of where we are, check out this next video. And you'll see our camping trip at Spruce Run Reservoir Campground in Clinton, New Jersey. Oh my god, I don't know if I have allergies or what, but I must need my teeth in the water. That would not be a good thing.